All right, so this video will help you with the population math practice quiz 2A. The first thing that you need here is your population math sheet um, here 2A. And the other thing that you need is your population math formulas. So the first question, if a country were doubling its population in 20 years, what's the growth rate? And so we need our formula sheet which is here, and we need the um, rule of 70, which is down here. So 70 over R. So we need 70 over R is equal to 20 years. And let me go ahead and just reset this up. So 70 over R is equal to 20 years. So we can do an algebraic cross-multiply problem, and I'll go ahead and put this over 1, and then I'm just going to cross-multiply. So 70 is equal to 20R, and let's isolate R by dividing by 20. And so R is equal to 70 divided by 20. So we want 20 goes into 70, and it goes in uh, three times. Three times 20 is 60. We're gonna subtract. Now here's our decimal here. We're gonna bring it up. We're gonna add a zero and drop it down. 20 goes into 100 five times. And so our answer is going to be 3.5%. So the rule of 70, the answer comes out as a percent. Going on to the next question, number two. A city with 10,000 people has 200 births per year. What's the birth rate? So anytime you have the word per, you draw a line. So 200 divided by 10,000. Let's get rid of our zeros so we can get rid of two up here and two down there. And so we have a hundred going into two. Here's our decimal, bring it up, add a zero. Still doesn't go in, put another here and here. It goes in twice. Let's move our decimal place over once and twice, and our answer is 2%. This one you have to change into a percentage. The last problem, the rule of 70, comes out as a percentage but that is an exception. All of the other problems you have to change into a percentage. So the birth rate, the death rate, and the growth rate you have to change into a percentage. Let's go on to number three. Another city experiences 15 deaths per thousand. So again we have um, the word per, so draw a line, 15 over 1,000, what's our death rate? So 1,000 goes into 15. Here's a decimal, bring it up, add a zero, still doesn't go in, add one here and here. It goes in once, one times 1,000 is 1,000. Let's subtract, we get 500. Let's add a zero, bring it down, 1,000 goes into 5,000, five times. Let's take our decimal and move it over once and twice so we get 1.5 percent and that is the answer for the death rate. Number four, if 400 bunnies were living in an area of about 200 square kilometers, what's the population density of those bunnies? So this is when we go back to our formula sheet and we see that density is equal to population over area. So population over area is equal to the density. So our population is 4,000 bunnies. 
and our area is 200 square kilometers. So how many bunnies per square kilometer? So let's cross out our zeros. 2 goes into 40. And <clears throat> let's go ahead and add the word bunnies because units are important. 2 goes into 40 20 times. So our answer for this one, make sure you include units. We have bunnies per square kilometer. And that's the answer. Again, don't forget your units. Number five, if a city of 2,000 were growing at a rate of 3.5% a year, in how many years will it reach 16,000 people? So we need to first start by using the rule of 70. So we're going to take 70 over R is our years to double. So 70 over 3.5. When we do this math, 3.5 going into 70, first we need to get rid of this decimal over here. So we're going to also add one over here as well and bring the decimal up. So when we do this math, 35 into 700, we get 20. So our answer comes out as years, so it's 20 years to double. So we're starting out at 2,000 people. And we're going to 4,000 people in 20 years. And then we're going to double this again to 8,000 in another 20 years. And then we're going to double 8,000 to 16,000 in another 20 years. So 20 plus 20 plus 20 is equal to 60 years, and that is your answer. Number six, a village has, of 600 people has 274 deaths a year and 304 births. What's the growth rate? So 304 minus 274 over total 600. So once we subtract, we get 30 minus, or 30 over 600. We can reduce our zeros, and we can get 60 into 3. Here's a decimal, bring it up, add a zero. It still doesn't go in, so I'm going to add a zero here and here. Goes in five times. Let's move our decimal once and twice, and we get 5% growth rate for the village. Number seven, is this a high or low growth rate? 5% is really, really high. If you look back at your formula paper, you can see here on our formula paper that we have the information that you need for a high or low death rate. So, the answer here would be a rapidly growing death rate because 5% is a high growing death rate. And so number eight asks, where would this village probably be found in Africa or Europe? And it would definitely be found in Africa and um, in particular sub-Saharan Africa. How long does it take for this village to double its population? So uh, we're going to use the rule of 70, 70 over 5% because R is R, 70 over R, and this is going to be 5 goes into 70, uh, 5 goes into 7 once, 1 times 5 is 5, subtract, we get 2, drop down our 0, and this goes in four times. So our answer comes out as years in the rule of 70. So it's going to take 14 years to double. Last but not least, number 10. A small country has 300,000 people, 3,000 babies are born, 10,000 or 1,000 die, 1,500 immigrate, and 500 emigrate. What's the growth rate? 
So this is the big long formula, 3,000 births plus 1,500 immigrants with an I minus our deaths at 1,000 minus people leaving, which is emigration with an E, divided by total population of 300,000. So I'm just going to kind of do it like this. This is 4,500 minus 1,500. So I get 3,000 divided by 300,000. So let me cross off some zeros. Three up here, three down here, and now I get 300 going into three. Add a decimal, bring it up, add a zero doesn't go in, add another here and there. Now it goes in once. I will move my decimal over once and twice to get a percentage, and my answer is 1%, and that's the end.